But since we're going to go with that, let's let's talk about this for a second. I'm not sure why I linked this video in the salt mines at all, but I did. Okay. All sparking zero when you can literally just pick the character remember. you want. Isn't it a waste of time to charge key and do a fusion dance when I can literally just choose Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks from the character select screen? Well, of course you can, but it's actually a horrible decision to do that. Did you know that if you perform transformations manually, you will get in-game buffs and increased health way beyond what you would get if you just chose the character on the sword skill and also... I, I feel like I was supposed to be linking that to Chad for something. And for yeah, I think you accidentally put it in the salt mines. I, I put it in the mines. But that is interesting. Well. We do get to talk about it anyway because IGN Y scored Sparking Zero a 7 out of 10. No. And they did the same thing with Concord. And Dustboard. No. Out of 10. And Dustboard was a 7 out of 10. And it's like, really, guys? I, I just I, the guy I, reviewing it clearly did not want to review this game. Doesn't know fighting games at all, let alone 3D fighters. And it's just like this is not the person who should be reviewing your game. Yeah, this is why. Remember last time that we were on, I, I said that they should actually just have a rotating, uh, just like just a bunch of contractors on on contract blech, words. That you know, and there there are hard. certain people who specialize in certain things because mm -hmm. then you don't get this garbage. This is stupid. To <laughs> if if their baseline for a game like Concord or a game like Dustborn, a game Dustborn I watched beginning to end twice because it's so funny watching people suffer that much. But <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I I I am a bit of a sadist. So, um, but I, I mean. These games are so bad, and to put this up with an with games like that, that's basically saying this is the way that you're going to say one or zero. You know, it basically has the juice ain't worth a squeeze if it's a seven. You know, yeah. According to IGN, according to their own metric, basically seven is your passing grade. You know, just barely passing with like you exist. Okay, you you tried a thing. You know, an attempt was made. Congratulations to you. It exists. Um, but if that's the, if that's their metric, then any game like the, I mean, they should go to seven to twenty or something like that because ten is just you guys not stay up. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm I'm annoyed by IG and this is so dishonest, and it I actually hurts every game that comes I after. It. So I'd probably give it an eight or nine, not a seven. But the thing is that you're going off of actual numbers, though, not off of IGN scale. IGN scale literally is 7 to 10. That's it. Again, I think they have a contract that just says, hey, if you're reviewing a game for X company, you can't rate it below a 7. Because apparently recently they did rate something like 5.5 or something out of 10. And I was just but like, holy shit, they actually can go that low? But that was that was because it was absolute garbage, from what I remember hearing. Well, I mean, I don't know what it was at I, all. I remember seeing about but, it, and I've forgotten what it was. But yeah, I mean, it was probably some indie thing, and for all I know, it probably is something halfway decent. They just Dustborn. didn't like, you know, didn't like it. No, Dustborn, Dustborn has should have been more in that line of a five yeah, point five. Because Dustborn was was Dustborn, an indie game, wasn't it? I would have given I mean, it two. I mean, I would have given it lower, but yeah. You know. Well, I don't know I, if that's because of bias or, or what. <laughs> I mean, I, I will say I do have criticism of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Basically, yeah. this is yeah. this isn't even part of the game per se. One, and I will admit I am biased because I absolutely have utter disdain for the voice actors, other than one. Oh. But even then, I can go, wow, this some some of these, a lot of these voice lines are really low effort. Oh. And okay. some of them got phoned and, in. And I, mean, I will say this, Bulma, shut the hell up when I'm in the menu. You do not have to comment <laughs> on everything I'm looking to buy. Yes, she does. <laughs> that actually drives me nuts, too. She's just like, oh, are you a big spender? You're almost as rich as me. I wish my husband would take me out for shopping once in a while. Oh, are you just going to buy everything? Yeah, mm -hmm. I do like to look around. And it's just like, Boba, shut up. I, but, I come mean, on, you don't have to speak every two seconds. <laughs> to be fair, that, that kind of fits. That is Bulma. Bulma is an annoying character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, so uh, that's true to it. I mean, I, and I will say Dragon Ball, 
Um, and there's the, actually something the other in fighting this games they that, just get straight out wrong too. Well, the the fighting games of Dragon Ball only go so high with me anyway because they do get kind of repetitive. You know, they're just like okay, well, it, it's kind of fun. It's not, it's not a maze balls, but you know, I fine. Kind of was hoping that I can make a character, but I guess that was only one of them. Yeah, Xenoverse is the only one who does that, I think. Xenoverse no. one and two. Um. But no, like in this review, they talk about customization because you can customize the people, right? The characters add new yeah. costumes and stuff to them, mm -hmm. uh, give them new taunts, things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and in this, he talks about how he wishes he didn't have to always go back to the menu and then go through another menu to get to the menu to get to customization. And, and once it, you know, access to it while looking at the characters in the character select screen. And I don't know if maybe it was just the build that he was using or whatnot, but that actually exists in game. If oh. you highlighted a character, you can click the uh, what I call the start button. I think is what it is. Yeah, and then you can. We'll bring you the customization menu without going to the customization menu. <laughs> yeah, it even says at the bottom customize. Yeah, it says customize. You click it, and you can change their outfits, or you can set them up to where. If you want, like, you know, Goku and Vegeta to only fuse into Gogito and not give you the option for Vegito, you can do that, too, from that menu. I hate that that bit was a thing in the actual... I didn't like the whole merge thing. Yeah, it wasn't my favorite, either. But, whatever. Uh, it's, what yeah. is wrong with you people? Anyway. <laughs> it, 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 it's it's it, it, weird. It was, uh, to me, it was a cheap plot. Oh, but well, I mean, what uh, mechanic? I don't know. Anyway, anyway, so this is one of the reasons why people don't trust reviewers. It's like, well, I not professional ones, guy, no. yeah, not the professional ones. Yeah, they'll like, go to YouTube or they'll go to Zio. I, I have no idea that if this guy actually really played the game or was just fed information to regurgitate. Or uh, even what his baseline is, like how what his bias is going in. Everybody has a bias going in. He well, may hate. If Dragon you actually Ball, listen he may not to the like video, Dragon. whoever it was who who did it, clearly mm -hmm. just has no idea. Mm. This is not their type of game. Uh, they they don't want to be there. Essentially, <laughs> mm. and you can just hear it. It's funny because I went into this game going, I don't want. to play this but i know zeo wants to and now i'm like yeah this this is kind of fun <laughs> yeah him and his button smashing and auto guards <laughs> because you know he can't do it for real <laughs> that should have been off by divi 100 degree also did you say am... you beat someone with yodoichi or with yamcha? yamcha yamcha no no it wasn't yamcha it was uh Oh, uh, Yajirobe. Uh, Yajirobe. yeah he, he, uh, yes Yajirobe. i'm sorry There's what happened yacht. is we didn't realize there was a counter to the character select screen, so we were cycling through characters, looking, kind of just browsing, just and browsing. So then it just suddenly faded, and was like, "Did you start the match or something?" Because no, I didn't touch anything. It's like, "What the hell happened?" And then he started the match with three characters, pretty powerful ones, in Yard Jerobi. And, and then Yarobi. I started with Krillin and somebody else. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> because I happen to have Krillin. been hovering over it. Krillin's actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I had a I, I, Goku I kicked and Gohan. His ass yeah, Krill, the balancing with, is. Mm, I, I kicked his ass with Krillin for a hot second. But I got through two of his more powerful guys and mm -hmm. finally fell. And then I was left with whoever I had left. And then he finally finished me off. So I had to go through three people to my two. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, yeah, <laughs> he did technically had, win with Yajirobe by getting that last shot. In. Look, I had two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing that the thing that irks me, and I mean, I mean, like it is in your face. And I wish I'm, I'm like legit looking for settings, trying to find out if I can fix this. Did I break something? There's narration portions to the game. Like you, you get you get the audio of the characters talking. Like Goku, mm -hmm. Gohan, whatever. But then yeah. there's like a narration section, and it is no voice at all. Now I know the the narrator for Dragon Ball died recently. You know, rest in peace to all mm -hmm. the legends. 
but that doesn't mean you don't add audio at all. It's so out of place, and I'm like, oh, wait, I got to read this. Yeah, what it is is they have the story mode. Are you saying that it's unbalanced then? No, no, it's just the just the in the story mode. There's cutscenes and there's times where the characters talk, but then mm-hmm. there's the narration part. And I'm expecting that legendary voice or somebody similar, and it's just no audio. You have to read it, and I'm like, yeah, that's a little weird. I mean, if the characters are, if there's no talking in the game, because I'm I'm used to games where there's no talking. I which is why I'm so comfortable with just turning the sound off and listening yeah, to I the news. All or none. I expect either everything. Yeah, it's it's unbalanced. Not. Yeah, yeah. Just be consistent. <sighs> yeah, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, the way they they do the story is they essentially do like the major beats mm-hmm. and then do these snapshot pictures in mm-hmm. between for the uh-huh. most part. So that's where there's no narration. So, so I mean, if you were if you were to judge this game, Chad. Uh, would it be a, a one out of ten? Not IGN sevens, um, but like one out of ten. What would you give it? Honestly, I'd probably give it an eight or nine. Really, it's that high. Um, it. I think it, it seems like it might be an honest seven. Honestly, I but mean, it, IGN it, it, isn't it honest a seven, but honest. But to be frank, they got so much customization, characters, mm-hmm. items that you can buy. It's very, very flushed out as far as the game mechanics, and that's where I and like. Game mechanics, yes. Okay. Um, well, for the sparkling series, I definitely would give it an eight or a nine. Mm-hmm. It, it's definitely the the cream of the crop for that okay. series. Uh, you know, and once you get used to the controls, once you learn the controls, because I will say it doesn't give you great direction, but it gives you good enough direction. Mm-hmm. There's it, a whole cool. training section that people don't want to do. So then you have Chad's comment well it's, it doesn't explain things very well and yet there is a whole training with piccolo that will walk you through every single control and how to perform it uh, so, so. Yeah, yeah but so. see i go and press start and it says explain controls and when it explains the controls it doesn't or it does well, it very does do that too it, it, it tells you what they do when you press a button and how it's performed and there's a long list if you do it the written way <laughs> Okay. It says at one point to do the that the... Yajirobe is a fightable character is hilarious though. I... Oh, oh no, it gets better. He's the second weakest. You want to know who the weakest one is? Is he the second weakest? Yeah. You want to know who the first weakest is? Who? Oh yeah. You all came here to see Mister. Oh, Mister Satan. Yeah, yeah. Mister Satan is definitely the weakest. He's I'm pretty sure, like, Chao Su is about the same level as y- Yajirobe. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, Chao Su and Yajirobe are, like, uh, power level two. Yeah. Mr. Satan is one. As he <laughs> yeah. should be. <laughs> and then the Cybermen and the Cell Jr. is three. Videl is three. Uh, Chao Su, I think, is three. Chao um, Su should... I... I don't remember a lot about Chao Su. Chao Su's the little white... No, no, I I remember him. I remember him, and I remember that the way he died was uh by blowing himself you know, up. To be totally honest, I don't think he does a whole lot of fighting. No, that's why I'm like Dragon Ball. After yeah. Dragon Ball, he would just disappeared, and, and then he just disappeared and never really. He occasionally would show up someplace to say something random or whatnot with Tien, but other than yeah. that, he's just. Completely I mean, I think he had a bigger role in series. Dragon Ball Z abridged. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, honestly, I, I wholeheartedly expect that there's a battle, uh, a, a battle technique that Tian has where he just throws Chaosu like a grenade. The, you see, know, you I know haven't what? actually it's... played. No, I haven't played Tian yet, <laughs> so I don't know. So that's the thing. If you play Tian, you should have. Yeah, I mean, Chaosu shouldn't be a playable character because he. I mean, at least in Z, in Z lore, he has no place in there. He, yeah. he basically should be like, uh, it should be a Tien special move. You call in Chao Su and he blows up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> which is also all kind of messed up, but you know. Um, yeah, yeah but it sense, looks like, just from, this, just from this screenshot that I'm seeing here, it, it looks like, I mean, it's, it's a fighting game. I mean, it, you can only go so far with that. But it looks like they've done a lot to try to 
add on extra things to it. So, I mean, I, I give them props for that. And I think, it, you know, that you guys both rating it an eight, it's, it speaks well for it. IGN giving it a seven means absolutely nothing for me, though. I mean, and I think that this is the problem that we have in the professional class of uh, games people. I mean, they're all, they just seem to all be corporate bought and paid for shills at this point. Yeah. Now, I yeah. will say this this game will not speak to you if you're not a Dragon Ball fan. Yeah. Like, yeah if, you'll if get you, confused. If you're a fan of Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, you mm-hmm. know, general well, those fighting are, games. That's a different kind of fighting game, too. So, it is. Like, I, I know. There's a difference between. It's very anime. Okay. 3D. Tekken. Fighting games. Caliber. Is that better? Uh, there's there's a difference between like 3D fighting games and 2D fighting games. Because yeah. Dragon Ball's Fighters yeah. is also a good 8 9 uh, game out of 10. Mm-hmm. and But that is also a 2D. Yeah, but what I'm getting at is that um, I will say this though about all fighting games, actually, mm-hmm. none of them, including this one, compares to Fine Dragons. I I don't think I've ever seen Ooh. or heard of that game. I I know, it's the best fighting game I've ever played. Flying Dragons. Yep. <laughs> I'm waiting for Zio to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Let's see. I, I do. I, I, I am liking. Really? The... That is your best game? Yes. I you know why. Game. All right. Let's show the people. Let's show the people what Chad is rating a 10. Oh. That way we can understand his, his scaling and his grading. Let me bring. Can I bring this up? Here, let me try and bring it up. <laughs> oh, shit. Did I lose it? I think I fucking lost it. Oh, it changed it to something else. What the hell? In my That's search rusty. results. Yeah, that was 64, wasn't it? It's, yeah, in 64. It's so powerful of a game that they don't want you to know about it. Do they have Chi-Chi in this game? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. No, Chi-Chi's not in this game. She's not? I thought she was. No, she's not a playable character as far as I know. I thought Chi Chi and Bulma were. Hmm, maybe I'm wrong. Well, Bulma shouldn't be because she. That's, no. Uh, oh, here we go. In the Flying store, Dragon. that makes sense. Wow. Wow. This is an old, obscure game. It <laughs> is. Is there any like uh, video of it being played? <laughs> oh, I'm sure there is. So here's oh. the thing: why this game is better than all the others. Why? You can level up your character. Okay, that's a thing. Like RPG level up, they get stronger as they fight in tournaments, and you can yeah. even equip them with equipment to improve their health, how strong they are. I I literally made a character so strong that I beat everybody in one hit. In game, okay, nice. I support that actually. That 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 makes sense because um, Culture Brain legit makes amazing games. By the way. Wow. There's, two, there's two game modes. There's arcade mode and like the other mode. If if the characters are in a 3D, not like chibi 2D, mm-hmm. then it's this might be the one though. Hang on. Yeah, that's it. Wow, it's, it's not great art. <laughs> it's it's a 64 game. They did no, you they could, could still draw with <laughs> a pen and paper. Haha, ha, I feel so, so good. good. Ugh. I can't, I can't forgive, forgive you. you. For feeling so good. <laughs> <laughs> and they had uh, special abilities with the meter and all that. All that good stuff. Okay, so for art style, I'm probably going to give it like a five. But for uh, it, the colors are kind of also painful. But um, oh, for a 64 game, it's not that bad. flickering ain't helping things, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, it's not. Like whoever recorded this, they literally recorded it off a of TV. I think so. <laughs> Cause I can see the I can see the well, bending. Yeah, but, but I yeah. mean no, just a, the concept art is still a thing. I mean what King of Fighters came out in the, the 90s and it looks great. So Yep. And now I will admit that my 10 out of 10 of this game is for the mechanics and the gameplay and stuff. No, it's completely biased. Oh, <laughs> that's completely biased. But I mean, uh, I mean, the Energize thing is has... a better fighting game. But I, I think that it. It was a better RPG. 
Well, I think that it, it's it one. kind of mixes the two things and kind of gives you something to build towards, which would actually increase your um, the reason to keep playing that game. Like for yeah. me, fighting the problem with fighting games is that you have to like have people over and play with them because you know otherwise you're just playing the campaign and you know that that could last for maybe like I don't know a couple hours at the most and that's if you suck like me um but for the most part it's like you pass it and then I mean really the most fun to be had is in playing with friends um I don't believe in those so it wasn't really like like fighting games weren't really like my thing because you know you yeah. have and you can't and especially not as an adult now you have to like get friends together to go play a fighting game but See, fighting the games are not you... my thing at all. I, it has to have something unique to it for me to even care. Like Smash Brothers, although everybody that plays in tournaments can suck a big one because I'm playing with the items whether you want it or not. Uh, <laughs> the um, This game here, the Flying Dragons, with the whole RPG elements, with the Dragon Ball, you can buy capsules that give you better strength, health regeneration, key regeneration. Yeah. Totally didn't tell Zio I had all my characters fully loaded. Uh, but I mean, see that no, that kind of really? thing actually makes sense <laughs> though. Yeah, I, I haven't done any of that stuff. Yeah, so I, I was getting I was like recovering quicker. That might actually be how I recovered from your combos. Um I was also uh my my stuff would charge quicker, it would take less of my uh key to dodge step. Yeah. I think that that was the thing in the, the I, I played one of those Dragon Ball games with a friend of mine. And I, I think that that was the thing in that game, too. I, I remember it rather specifically. And Bulma was in charge of the store because yep. that made sense. She was selling capsules at Capsule Corp. Yeah, that's how they yeah. do it in this one. Although now Bulma won't shut up. Every time you go to a different capsule to see if you want to buy it. Yeah, oh, she, are you buying that? Oh, baby, shut the f*** up. <laughs> yeah, I, I think she talked a lot in the other one, too. But it didn't really bother me. Um, I, because... I, I get talking a lot, but this every time you do an action, we have to comment. <laughs> and this this literally should be in the Geneva Convention as inhumane torture. <laughs> yeah, but I, I I don't know. I think I I like the the RPG elements to it, just because of the fact that it gives you a reason to keep doing stuff. You know, to stay uh, in the uh, game. This this was a better fighting game than his flying dragons. Oh, yep. Oh. Absolutely not. Dolphin kick. <laughs> Kamehameha wave. I don't know. <laughs> Definitely a better game. <laughs> I, I put way too many hours in this game. I'm not going to lie. I, I <laughs> love the RPG in this. In Energy. Yeah, the, the whole going into the tower thingy or whatever yeah. it was. Which there was like a long stint of games that had like a tower that you had to go into it was weird but that's pretty cool though honestly you know it's it's a good idea whoever had it and people well, taking it no, it wasn't a bad that. idea i just think it was weird like how many people did the like the simple idea of like rpg tower thing like mm -hmm. it would be tacked on to i'm sorry what was i talking about uh i don't know i got distracted um, i did too <laughs> Maybe we should watch somebody who's not too for fight. Because <laughs> this day and age, she gets censored. Yeah. No good. What, and the thing is that that's, that's actually insulting, too. I mean, I am not one of those bodacious babes, but they exist. I have met them. I know them. Um, we're not Do you got any of their numbers? I was about to say we're not necessarily friends, but, you know, I, I've... <laughs> No, it's it's hard out there for girls, man. But uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I, there, yeah, there, there are girls who are ridiculously endowed. It is a thing, you know. And to to I, not if you don't put a girl like that in the game, that's one thing. But if one exists in the game already, and then to take her out and say that's not reality, see, this is where we have a problem, my guy. This is where we're gonna have a little bit of a fight because you're wrong, and you're. Uh, what would you, what would they call? How would they say it? You're erasing their existence. Um, Where is their representation? Yoko, right? Yeah. I enjoyed Yoko. She was fun to play. Sorry, <laughs> she's a cop. Yeah, this is a yo-yo. That that is a very Japanese thing. I could see actually being a thing. What? 
a cop using a yo-yo instead of any sort of yeah, but that yo-yo was fire. Let me tell yeah. you, you start walking the dog, you better watch out. <laughs> yeah, no, I remember she was broken because she could just keep you away from her and just do, 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 do. <laughs> If she got you in a corner against a wall, nope, it's over. Uh, anyway. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'd like to see? This just popped into my mind. I would love to see Mutant League boxing. Mutant League boxing. That's not a thing. It's not a okay. thing. Okay. I was, hockey, I was waiting League. for that to be an old game somewhere. <laughs> no, Mutant League hockey and football are a thing, and they were absolutely a blast on the Sega. But Sega. 